a toxic gossip train Drug dump tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train Time me to retract and harass me for my f- past These rumors look like facts if you don't mind the gaps But I want to fire from the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun Hi, uh, hi everybody, I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things um, Even though my team has strongly advised me not to say what I want to say I recently realized that they never said uh, I couldn't sing what I want to say So here I am, and um, today I'm going to talk about facts So, I'll hope uh, you'll be r- r- willing to listen. Here you go. Many years ago, I used to motion to my fans. Um, uh, but not in a creepy way. It was more of a type of way where it, like, a lot of them trying to just Where I was just trying to be, um, like, besties with everyone. It was kind of, uh, like, when you know, like, when you go to a family gathering, you know, and there's, like, a weird aunt who keeps going, coming up to you and, like, going, like, hey, girl, what's the tea? And you're, like, eh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my line online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of the, my career, I didn't realize there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs where I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see. And I changed my behavior into accountability. But that's not very interesting. So let's go on the toxic gossip train. I love most of the hatred accusation, the toxic gossip train. Steamroll over some bands, reputation.